A lot of people look at what Zipline does and assume it's total science fiction and it's a decade away. But the reality is actually, it's ready today. There's an opportunity to build a totally radically new kind of logistics system for the planet. We wanted to build the first logistics system that would serve all people equally. The idea is simple. The technology required to do it is complicated. What Zipline's experience has taught us is that the technology is ready, right? We're able to serve people today with the technologies of today. If we want to make instant delivery scale for every person on Earth, we need to be doing that using small electric vehicles that can be operated autonomously and that are 10 times as fast as traditional logistics. The drone is certainly the most visible part of what we do, but there's a whole set of technologies we develop that really enable us to do what we do. This ranges from software we've built that enable the regulators to oversee our aircraft in their airspace. It includes sensing technologies to sense other aircraft and avoid them, route planning software, weather forecasting tools. It's one thing to create a product that works the way it's supposed to every time. It's another thing to create an operation that works the way it's supposed to every time. And that's from start to finish, from how the product is designed, manufactured, flown, maintained, and then how, at the end of the day, provides a service to a customer. And at Zipline, we do all of that. The current system can deliver basically 100% of medical products and almost 85% of traditional packages just moving through e-commerce. Any of our partners can pull out the phone, press a button, and instantly request an autonomous instant delivery of a product that they need. That order goes out, gets put into a zip, the zip gets put onto a launcher, it's launched, and now it's flying autonomously out to the delivery site. When it gets there, it drops the package from the air, the zip turns around, flies back, lands, and is ready for the next zip. And at any given time, we have dozens of zips in the air doing exactly that to different parts of a country. Countries that have shown initiative and in using it to transform health systems and totally change the way that their national infrastructure works. Welcome to the fulfillment operations area. We have medical products stored, the blood products are stored, where the vaccines are also kept, and where the products are generally packaged and sent across to the health facilities. Across the country, we serve 1,600 plus health facilities. It's very difficult for rural areas to store critical medical products on site. And so what we are doing in Zipline is to ensure that the supply chain is revolutionized into a system that is very responsive to what is actually happening on the field. Five and a half million children lose their lives every year due to lack of access to basic medical products. The technology has gotten to a point where there are no more excuses. You could put every single person within the country within 15 to 25 minute delivery of any essential medical product. Being able to make the supply chain so responsive so that they can vaccinate children against some of the killer diseases and people can receive that same quality of care wherever they are, it's very impactful to see. It has changed the system for us for the better. We are 100% sure of product availability, even when there's shortage. Plants are in place to cover the whole country so that every single facility in the country will have access to the right commodity at the right place at the right time. Having operated for as long as Zipline has, we wanted to be thoughtful in how we lead so that not only can Zipline be successful, but the industry can be successful. As Zipline has brought our autonomous instant logistics to the U.S., we've been pretty excited to see that there are some big companies and health systems in the U.S. who share our vision for what instant logistics can mean at national scale. If it's the middle of the night, you need a thermometer, you need diapers, whatever it might be, you know, technologies like this could, could solve that problem for customers. But what if it could land on the driveway in 10 minutes? It would completely transform the way you think about the items you want and the life that you want to lead. Customers here in Pea Ridge and the surrounding area will get access to the most cutting edge delivery mechanism anywhere in the US before anyone else. 90% of America lives within about 10 miles of Walmart. The demand's already there, the items are already nearby, and we need something to close the gap between the two. If you live in a New York, if you live in a Singapore, if you live in a London, you don't realize how convenient your life has become because you have access. And even within those communities, there are food deserts, there are pharmacy deserts. Zipline adds a new dimension to access. 
You know, historically, transport has been a, a barrier to achieving good healthcare. Healthcare should be delivered as close to home as possible, where, when, and how people want it, and they should be able to afford it. And our partnership with Zipline, I think, is really designed to do that. If you can pull out a phone and talk to a doctor quickly and get a diagnosis, the health system should also have a way of saying, great, that product is going to be on your doorstep in five minutes, so you can stay at home and get better. This is going to be one of the most important tools for us to deliver highly equitable health care to people. We want to build that magical, simple experience that approximates teleportation. When I think about how Zipline, not just as a product, but as a service, could make people's lives better, that for me feels like a basic universal human need. There is a real societal cost to not bring in these access opportunities, these potential environmental benefits, safety benefits to communities. And the idea that we wouldn't need as many roads in order to transport goods back and forth, in order to make sure people still had access to the things they needed, but we could instead use that ground to live. <laughs> what a novel idea. It wasn't that long ago that it seemed really normal to us that you would actually write a letter by hand and then pay someone to deliver it on horseback. That is how we're doing logistics today, is going to feel once people are used to electric, autonomous, instant logistics systems.